best intro ever. <laughs> what is up, fishing fanatics? Random Andrew here. You already seen Brother Craig cooking the bacon. Bacon. We are uh, we're on a camp trip right now. No, I didn't film a video at all for this camp trip. And you know, just as proof. Oh, camp trip. Okay. We're actually in the middle of cleanup right now because we're about to be out of here. But I thought, you know, we're out here in this beautiful area. I have something I haven't shared with you guys yet, and I'm going to zip through real quick and show you what Craig cooks bacon. Okay, guys, this I've been wanting to share with you guys for a while to show you. I decided to get serious when it comes to the tackle box game, the tackle bag. Plano, 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 how do you say that? Asking Craig like he'd know. Plano? 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 I'm gonna say it right off the hop. Not organized for the crap. Some of my soft plastics, just some Gary Yamato uh, five inch Senko worms. But this thing has been a lot of help when it comes to trying to come with, up with organization. I've got four of these plastic inserts, and you can set them up for like different kind of bugs, different kinds of fishing. And uh, right now, like I said, mine have absolutely no organization, but I've set them all up as far as getting these in and uh, trying to come up with some kind of organization. I got my thing with my Texas rigs on it. For some reason my top water frogs are in here. Googan Squad, Eat Me Frog, the Filthy Frog. Still hasn't landed me a fish yet. But yeah, you got four of these for an amazing amount of organization. And no, this is not a sponsored ad by any means. But I just wanted to share with you guys and show you all the little goodies. Like you got a thing here, extra storage compartment, so I keep the 2020 Fishing Ontario Regulations Guide. So when everybody's, whenever somebody says, oh, you can't do that, or no, I don't think you're supposed to do that, got it right here, you can just look it up. So no you more Karens. This is the answer to all fishing Karens that like to tell you what you can and can't do, right? This will tell you, that's the final word. Uh, a couple pockets in the front, got some more of my soft plastics, big bite baits. Uh, cards. Like I said, this is not very organized at all right now, guys. This is probably the worst time I could have chose to film this. <laughs> uh, some extra lines, some bobbers, a dead camera battery. Some batteries are no good anymore. And then we got over here, we got a side compartment. This is where my soft plastic should actually be. All of them. So let's just shove those right down in there right now. How much time I got before bacon? Okay, my my 13 fishing motorboat lure is melted against a four inch flipping shad. Oh yeah, what else am I forgetting? Oh, you got a nice little waterproof compartment here. You put your map or whatever. And then you got another compartment up top here. And if you flip it around, you got this netted area in the back to keep my fillet knife that I have yet to use because I have yet to fillet a fish myself. A couple of bobbers I've rescued from trees. Bobber trees, you gotta love them. And then my my binding pieces for my rods too back here. But yeah, that's, that's about it. It's not an incredible amount to show, but it is a mighty, mighty tackle bag. It's been very, very helpful, very useful. A lot better than taking and carrying around a hard plastic tackle box. One more thing to show you is real quick. Okay, I'm trying to get a good clean shot of my new bait casting reel. This is a Zebco, and I have not had, can I get a focus here? I've not had the best of luck with Zebco equipment. We got a telescopic Zebco rod that you can't really, you can't switch it from left to right. Uh, your reeling side, this is a spinning rod. But so far this hasn't been too bad. Not a lot of luck with the magnetic brake. I end up doing just stopping the reel myself with my thumb when it hits the water. And before all you haters get on here and start hating, yes, I realize this is not a bait casting rod. 
This is a seven foot, old school seven foot Mitchell rod. Used to be my dad's, probably before I was ever born. This is my dad's rod. And uh, it works good on here because I can't afford to go and pay a hundred bucks for a bait casting rod. So I make use of it on a really nice rod anyways. And it hasn't failed me yet. You know, it, it's really done well. So no hating on the old school fishing rod. That camera's really tilted. That's no better. Is it moving on its own? No. No, it's me. Okay, that's a little bit better. So yeah, don't be hating on the old school fishing rod or the fact that it's not a proper bait casting rod. It does work. You know, not everybody can afford, afford to just run out and buy the exact proper equipment or what the other guy bought. Get used to it this way. And it works pretty good. And no fish were caught on this camp trip either, guys. It just happens. So thanks for watching. Quick update on some gear. I can smell the bacon. Bacon! It's ready. See you guys later.